Hey everyone, it's me, Peachy Pet Paradise, and today's video is Good Rat Cages. I'll also be doing Bad Rat Cages, but in another video. In this video, I'll be including lots of cages, different types, why I recommend each cage, also give you a couple of good websites to check out for these cages, and more. Now, I won't be giving all the information about each cage, as that'll make the video very long and boring, and there are so many cages to go through, and you may find yourself forgetting them anyway. So for an easier option, instead, I've decided to include a link to each cage with all the information in the description so you can go check that out if there's any cage you're interested in. Hope you enjoy and learn something! Firstly, always remember before choosing any rat cage that it meets the following conditions, which are 1. The cage must be 80 by 50 by 60 centimetres, which is the minimum size for rats. Keep in mind it should be 2 square feet per rat. But always remember, the bigger, the better especially if you're housing more than two. Also, some rats can outgrow the minimum size, so think carefully when picking the size for the amount of rats you have. Two, the cage must have room for basic supplies, ground space for them to run and play, and height space for them to climb. And ensure that there's bars everywhere, so you can allow yourself to attach levels. And it's best to have barred or mesh tops so you can hang different toys, as rats love to climb on them, and they really do enjoy being high up in the air. So please consider this too. 3. The bar spacing must be half an inch. If any bigger, rats can escape through this. And 4. I suggest if you are going to house rats in any bird or ferret cages and chinchilla cages, if the bar spacing is over half an inch, the mesh all over with a small spaced wire mesh or chicken wire to prevent them from escaping, including any of the cages I recommend in this video. Also, most bird cages will need modifying, which includes taking off any barred grid bases and levels, or cover them up well with a soft flooring, for example a thick layer of fleece, so they won't be sitting on bars. Barred or mesh bases are not good for rats' feet to be constantly walking on, it can cause swelling and sores on them, in other words known as bumblefoot, so please ensure you take those out or cover them up. And this includes any of the following bird cages I recommend in this video. So those are the conditions that you should consider. So now let's get on to the good cages. First good cage types are the double leveled cages sold for rats. So ones like the Liberta Explorer cage. I have this cage for Cookie, but when I had both rats, they really loved it and they explored everywhere. For starters, it's huge. It offers plenty of ground space and bar climbing and it has levels for them to explore on too. I would call this the perfect rat cage. Next is the Rat Real Suite 95. This is a great cage, it's very large and provides all the cage conditions and more. Another lovely cage for rats. Another one is the Little Zoo X-Trail Animal Cage. This offers huge ground space and has brilliant height and levels too, so it's a wonderful rat cage. Another lovely cage is the Critter Nation. These are huge cages and offer plenty of ground space and levels for them to explore on. And you can buy this over in US and Canada too. Another great cage is the Fur Plus Ferret XL Tower Cage. The bar spacing is over half an inch though, so you will need to mesh all over the bars. But this offers plenty of ground space, height space and comes with levels too, and I would highly recommend this as a wonderful rat cage. Next are the level type cages, so ones that have suitable sized bases with some levels going up inside the cage. First one are any of the Freddy cages, so ones like the Freddy 2 rat cage. These have good sized bases and have levels rats can climb and jump on. They also have great height for good climbing. Next is the Jenny Fur Plus Rat Cage. This is a good minimum size. It offers a nice amount of ground space and has great height. I also recommend the iMac Rat Cages, so ones like the iMac Rat 100 Double. It's a great size for rats and offers brilliant height space and has great ground space for them to explore on too and comes with levels. Another is the Pet in Alfie 2 Double Rat and Chinchilla Cage. It is a wonderful size for rats with plenty of height and has levels and offers good ground space. Next is the Fur Plus Ferret XL Cage. This is a lovely size, it offers more than the minimum and has such a great height too. Now the bar spacing is over half an inch so I'd recommend you mesh all over the bars. Now for some good bird cages. Now there are hardly any that give the minimum recommended size for rats so I only mention very few bird cages and most will need modifying. So the first cage I recommend is the Rainforest RC Nova Antique Cage and this is in UK. It's a good size, it has a nice amount of ground space and gets very good height. But you will need to modify it by taking out the bar bottom base or you can cover up the base. 
and I also suggest you add levels into the cage to make it more fun for rats. Next is the Preview Hendrix Large Black Cage. Again, it's a great size, it has good ground space and offers a good amount of bar climbing too, but again, it will need modifying. Now going on to ferret cages. Now there are quite a few suitable ferret cages for rats. Just keep in mind most of them will need meshing as bar spacing tends to be over half an inch, including the ones I'll go through now. For US and Canada, a great one is the Ferret Nation Double Unit. This is huge, offers plenty of ground space, lovely height for bar climbing and levels to explore on, but the bar spacing is over half an inch so again it will need meshing. Another one is the Wear Manufacturing Living Room Series Deluxe Ferret Cage. This offers a good amount of ground space, plenty of levels to explore on and lots of bar height for good climbing, so it's a great suitable rat cage. And lastly is the Feisty Ferret Cage. It is a great size, offers lots of bar height and comes with levels, but the bar spacing again is too big so we'll need meshing. Other than that, it would make a lovely rat cage. And lastly, going on to chinchilla cages. Now, quick mention, the bar spacing on some of the chinchilla cages can be over half an inch. So if you're buying a chinchilla cage with too big bar spacing, then don't forget to mesh it all around with small spaced mesh. The first cage is the Fur Plus Chinchilla Cage, which is in the UK. This cage gives a minimum ground space, has very good height and levels attached so rats can explore on them, therefore making a good rat cage. Another one is the Chinchilla 3 or Ferret Cage. It's sold in UK. This cage is huge. It offers way more than the minimum, plenty of ground space, height space and levels for rats to explore on, but the bar spacing is a little too big so it would require meshing. But other than that, the result would be perfect. And lastly, another great cage is the Chi Chi 2 Chinchilla Cage, also in UK. It offers just over the minimum size, good height space and comes with levels too, so it would make a lovely cage for rats. So now I'll give you a couple of DIY cage ideas. So the first one is using CNC grids. Now the credit for this photo I'm showing you goes to my good friend Hamster Lover Forever One. She decided to build her cage out of these for her rats and she tied them together with cable ties and then put mesh all over them. Such a great idea right? Now most CNC grid spacing is too big so they will need meshing with small spaced mesh. What I love about this type cage is you can make them however big and tall you want, so you have lots of ground space, plenty of mesh on the sides so they'll have good height space and levels too, and the result is great. It would make a wonderful well built cage for rats as you can see here, and all at an inexpensive price. And lastly, another one, if your rats are not chewers and don't like to chew wood, then surprisingly large wooden built cages with mesh up the sides and top can be a great option. They look like bookshelves, but the result is pretty good, and they're also fairly cheap to build. As long as you provide the minimum or more at the bottom, add some levels, include good height and mesh top to hang things, it would make a great cage for rats. But generally, I would advise plastic or metal cages way more than wooden. And if that didn't help you enough, I'll even include some good websites to check out for some suitable cages for rats, including these cages and more, so you can find these cage types easier. But these websites do have a couple of bad sized cages, so just keep that in mind. First one is cageswild.co.uk. Now they have an amazing range of great sized cages for rats, also birds, ferrets and chinchillas, but keep in mind they do have some small ones, but most of them are great sized and worth checking out. Next one is amazon.co.uk. They have lots of different good sized rat and ferret cages, which definitely worth checking out. Another one I recommend is zooplus.co.uk. They have a couple of great sized cages which are worth checking out too, and these are all in the UK. Next is a site called The Find. They have quite a few good range of cages for rats and ferrets, which I recommend you check out. But like all the sites, they do have a couple of small cages. One just for US is petco.com. Now I would only recommend the site and shop for ferret and chinchilla cages, as most of the rat cages are very small. The only suitable rat cage on there is the Critination. Also, the bird cages they have are good sized, just remember to modify them so they're suitable to house rats in. A great one in US and Canada is walmart.com. Now, they only have a couple of good rat cages, not many good sized rat cages available, so I'd mainly recommend the site and shop for ferret cages. Another one for US and Canada is petsmart.com. Now, I'd only recommend the site and shop for ferret cages again as the rat cages on the site are under the minimum size, so they're generally not that suitable. I would suggest you buying a type of ferret cage from there, 
that's your better option. I would also like to recommend a great website for knowing the number of rats you can keep in your cage. This is Ratty Corner Cage Calculator. All you have to do is type in the height, width and depth and that will calculate and give you the total amount of rats you can house in your cage. I'll link it in the description. So all those websites are worth checking out and I'll be leaving all of them in the description so you can go check those out if you're interested and all the links to each cage I mentioned in the video so you can find out all the information about each cage. And that's it! So there's some of the good suitable cages I recommend for rats. Now I may have gone a little overboard with the amount of cages but I wanted to show you as many as I could to help as many as I can. Even if it helps one of you, it's definitely worth it. So that's the video. If you're looking for a new rat cage, then I hope this has helped give you a good range of cages to pick from. Don't forget to look out for my bad rat cages video, which will be coming up soon. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like our videos and like what you see, then go subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video and learnt something about this topic, then don't forget to hit that like button, and we'll see you next time. Bye!